welcome back to another episode of The Cellar. Yellowstone National Park is a nearly 3,500 square mile wilderness recreational area that sits atop a volcanic hotspot. Most of Yellowstone sits in Wyoming, with the park spreading into parts of Montana and Idaho. Yellowstone features dramatic canyons, alpine rivers, lush forests, hot springs, and gushing geysers, including its most famous geyser, Old Faithful. It's also home to hundreds of animal species, including bears, wolves, bison, elk, and antelope. Today's story takes place at Yellowstone National Park on July 20th of 1981. On this day, 24-year-old David Allen Kerwin from La Canada, California, was taking a drive through the park. He was accompanied by his friend Ronald Ratliff and his friend's dog, Moosey. At around 1 p.m., they made the decision to park their truck near one of the hot springs and get out to take a closer look. After getting out of their truck, Ronald's dog, Moosey, made a break for it and escaped from the vehicle. The dog had only one goal on its mind, and that was to go for a swim in the beautiful hot spring. Within moments of escaping, the dog dove into the water, and it became quickly apparent that something was horribly wrong. To give context to the overall scenario, the Yellowstone hot springs are found in abundance throughout the park. Due to it being a volcanic hotspot, many of these bodies of water reach temperatures upwards of 150 to 205 degrees Fahrenheit. To add even further context, when boiling water at home for something like pasta, a full rolling boil occurs at 212 degrees Fahrenheit. Upon seeing and hearing the dog's distress, David and Ronald ran over to the hot spring to attempt to help the terrified dog. Within just seconds, it became apparent that David was going to act quickly and go in himself to rescue the animal. According to reports, numerous bystanders tried to warn David not to go into the water. Like hell I won't was the only response he had for the people watching on in horror. And just like that, David took two steps into the water and dove headfirst in to rescue Moosey. Miraculously, David managed to swim all the way out to the frightened dog and attempted to pull the dog back ashore. He lost his grip on the animal, went underwater, and then came back up and tried to climb up out of the pool. Ronald was then able to step into the water and help pull David the rest of the way out. Ronald would suffer second degree burns on his feet as a result of the couple of seconds he stood in the water, but his friend David was in far, far worse condition. After being pulled out, David was quoted as saying, that was stupid, how bad am I? That was a stupid thing I did. Now, classifying this as stupid just simply isn't a fair assessment of the overall situation. Whether it be your child, your significant other, a family member in general, when a dangerous situation occurs, some of us have this built-in response. The need to save or rescue, no matter the risk there is to our own life. On this day, David reacted before fully thinking through the situation, and sadly, it would not end well for him. Upon his departure from the scalding hot water, David was blind and suffering from third degree burns over 100% of his body. When a park visitor came over to help, he attempted to remove David's shoes and David's skin peeled off with them. In fact, at this point, most of David's skin was peeling off from all over his body. David would be rushed to the Salt Lake City Hospital. There, doctors would do all they could to try and save David, but sadly, he would succumb to his wounds the following morning. As for the dog David jumped in to save, he sadly did not make it as well. In sharing David's story, I hope to make anyone listening more aware of the dangers within Yellowstone Park and the overall dangers in jumping into any kind of body of water before fully knowing what dangers could await. Thank you for coming by and checking out another episode of The Cellar. 
please like and subscribe the channel, and I'll see you next time.